The wrestling world has been duped into thinking world wrestling entertainment is the end all be all of the industry, with all elite wrestling unjustly cast as the underdog. Yet all elite wrestling's seemingly lower ticket sales aren't a sign of weakness. They're a deliberate middle finger to the bloated, soulless corporate machine that world wrestling entertainment has become. This piece will dismantle the illusion and reveal how all elite wrestling's ticket strategy is actually a masterclass in subversion. Before we start though, let's set some ground rules. YouTube has become a battleground, with World Wrestling Entertainment trolls launching relentless assaults on all elite wrestling content on my channel. These trolls are not fans. They're flaming trolls who are World Wrestling Entertainment trolls and androids, Wrestling Entertainment trolls and androids. They're vandals of the wrestling community, intent on sowing discord and stifling healthy discourse. My videos are proudly based on fact and completely objective. These trolls, their actions are not just juvenile. They're destructive and they tarnish the image of wrestling as a whole. In what should be a celebration of intellect, a disturbing trend has emerged. A toxic tribalism that's spilling into cyberbullying. Passion for a brand should never devolve into attacks on all elite wrestling, Tommy Khan or journalists like Dave Meltzer. The wrestling community must stand united against this behavior. While we celebrate the competitive spirit between all elite wrestling and world wrestling entertainment, we must draw the line at cyberbullying and trolling. The wrestling community is a diverse tapestry, and there's no room for those who choose to unravel it with hate and division. Let's champion our preferred brands with respect and honor the spirit of competition that makes wrestling great. I'm doing my job by staying unbiased, so please follow suit in the comments. And please, no rude comments about my pronunciation of words. I have a Boston accent. Let's dive into the facts why all elite wrestling selling poorly is actually a good thing, and why historically the underdogs and poor performers end up winning. Fact 1. Prioritizing the fan experience over greed. World Wrestling Entertainment might pack stadiums like sardines, but all elite wrestling's selling fewer tickets is about inability, and it's about integrity. All Elite Wrestling refuses to sacrifice the fan experience for a quick buck. Each ticket sold is a covenant with the fan, promising an intimate, electrifying experience that World Wrestling Entertainment's sterile mass-produced spectacles can't touch. This isn't just good business. It's a revolution in fan loyalty that World Wrestling Entertainment's corporate drones could never comprehend. Fact 2. Pay-per-view events as crown jewels. All Elite Wrestling treats its pay-per-view events like rare treasures, not the throwaway, forgettable sideshows World Wrestling Entertainment churns out. By selling less show tickets, All Elite Wrestling turns its PVs into events, lowering demand and creating a frenzy that World Wrestling Entertainment's oversaturated market has long since lost. All Elite Wrestling's pay-per-views aren't just shows. They're events that fans would crawl over broken glass to see. And that would be real glass, cry me a river. Fact 3. Cultivating a fiercely loyal fan base. All elite wrestling strategy isn't about filling seats. It's about filling hearts. By not pandering to the masses or selling tickets, all elite wrestling is curating a legion of die-hard fans who don't just consume content, they live it. This isn't just a fan base, it's a movement. And while World Wrestling Entertainment is busy counting tickets, All Elite Wrestling is counting on a fan army that will follow them to the ends of the earth. Fact 4. Exposing World Wrestling Entertainment's hollow victory. World Wrestling Entertainment might boast about their ticket sales, but let's be real, they've been around the block a few times. But let's be real, they've been around the block a few times. All Elite Wrestling's decision to play the long game and not oversaturate the market is a stroke of genius. And when All League Wrestling does outsell World Wrestling Entertainment in certain markets, it's not just a win, it's a sign of the shifting tides. World Wrestling Entertainment's Goliath is feeling the sting of All Elite Wrestling's slingshot, and it's only a matter of time before the giant falls. Conclusion: All Elite Wrestling's lower ticket sales compared to World Wrestling Entertainment's aren't a weakness. They're a war strategy. All Elite Wrestling is crafting a wrestling renaissance focused on quality, exclusivity, and loyalty. As All Elite Wrestling continues to rise, these tactics will not only carve out a profitable niche, but will also expose World Wrestling Entertainment's quantity over quality empire for what it is. A paper tiger in a world yearning for something real, 
Don't forget to subscribe, 